Bubble lamps are fascinating, aren't they? My friend's brother had one, and whenever I'd go over to his house, or his, it may have been his sister, I would like look and see it. Oh, the furnace turned off. I'd look and see it, and I could just watch it for so long. It just takes forever to get going. Anyway, today we have a real question and answer thing segment, qual. So that's exciting. The old Indian trick inquires, what is your favorite craft or skill to use slash implement? Um... Probably two of my favorites are like music and dancing. I'm not amazing at either of them, but both of them are just like really, really fun and enjoyable to do and they're useful and like you can dance anywhere and get people to look at you and you can play music pretty much anywhere. So probably that would be my biggest thing. It takes a while for it to get heated up and then it's just Wow, that's really cool. I'm not gonna get anything done today. I just want to watch this. Another question from the old Indian trick was, have you tried looking for sponsors maybe to get faster equipment or stuff to better your YouTube career? This question is in context of my second vlog and where I was talking about how my equipment wasn't very fast and I wouldn't be able to do more high quality vlogs if I couldn't get it faster. And so I thank you for your concern. But uh, as I said in my previous vlog, it's because I made a mistake. I wasn't doing it right. I was doing it very poorly. Like here, I'll show you. So imagine that you wanted to get from here to here. Let's say that this is my files. This is editing software. Logically, you take a bus or poorly drawn taxi thing and drive from here straight to here. Now what I was doing, I took the taxi cab up here, made them get off at a bus stop, switch buses, go by way of Ireland, and then come back down here. However, that being said, I have not looked into getting sponsors. I would love to get sponsors. If anyone wants to send me money or stuff, I'd be hard pressed to say no. However, I don't want to be the one going out and looking for sponsors. If my channel is ready for sponsors, which I don't think it is yet, I think I still need to grow a lot. Sponsors will come to me rather than me going to them. So I think that wraps up today's Q&A. Okay, don't have much time to dilly dally. Got quite a bit to do, as every day. Uh, got a schedule radio show, uh, upload the music, social media sweep in general, go to school, work on homework, put together another radio program, work on music, I don't know if I'm going to get to that, but it'd be nice to get to that, and then do some other stuff as well. So, busy day, let's get started with uh, a social media sweep, I guess? No, upload, no, social media sweep. Hey, no, no. Finished up, bunch of, well not a ton of stuff, but I did the radio show and did the social media sweep and I also uploaded a song to SoundCloud. Now we're at school, we could go back, do a bunch of more stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going down. So quick, up, so quick update to the schedule, I'm also gonna, stepped on that stump thing. So quick update, I'm also gonna be running some like press release stuff hopefully to places like Sheridan, Wyoming and see if they'll take it and put it in the newspapers and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna see how this goes because it'd be kind of fun to see if we can get some publicity for this show coming up. The tour will be in Sheridan May 8th, I think. So hopefully I can get it there before that happens. I'm sorry that it is all bumpy. I, whenever I take a step, it jolts. That's probably really annoying. <laughs> Okay, so you know how I was talking about yesterday, how the yesterday was going to be a boring day? Well, it ended up that today was actually the work day. <laughs> I've done a lot more work today than I did yesterday. So, uh, sorry about that. I guess I'm pretty bad at predicting these kind of things. However, something on my list of things to do today was make music, so I thought I would take you on this 
journey of making a song. It's for my new album called Looking, and this album is a lot more like ambient music that is, for me, really fun to make, or it's, it's more enjoyable in a lot of ways. So I'm gonna be recording some of that process and show you in a little bit of the life of what goes into these things, if that makes any sense. Let's go. Okay, so how I like to start out is I get a synthesizer sound that I really like. So let's go and do that. Ooh. All right, I actually like this one. Once I input that in the program, then I go inside and I make it sound all pretty. Save this looking. It's got to be a looking for whatever. All the titles I like, looking for something, looking for peace, looking for someone. This next one will be uh, looking for purpose. You got to clean up a lot when you do this kind of stuff. At least I do. So then I'll kind of just basically keep on adding these layers and these different ideas into kind of a soundscapey type song. Um, I usually like to lower the tempo. Okay, it's quite a bit later now. I finished making it, now I'm bouncing it, which is basically just exporting the song. And then I gotta master it. So that's like taking the wave file and making it so that it's louder and it's creating different, there's different levels. It's, it's really complicated and I'm not very good at it. I still need a lot of practice, but it has to do with just making it sound. I guess you could relate it to like when you write a paper, you have everything there and then you just go over it and you check for maybe not spelling errors, but like you polish it up and make everything really smooth and make it sound good and you fix any formatting. That's kind of like what it is when you master stuff. Now to make the video for it, I go and I find some public domain footage of like old timey videos and then I just kind of Mm, I like to slow down the footage, and I like to make it just very ambient. This is kind of music that I do enjoy making. It's just fun kind of just weaving these big like tapestries of sound. So this video will be up tomorrow on Friday, and then Friday I'll be geocaching, so that video will come out Monday, and hopefully I'll have some interesting footage from that. And I'm geocaching because of school. <laughs> Yeah, if you have any questions for the next Q&A session, please leave it down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you and your endeavors. See ya! Something that weirds me out about lava lamps is that once it's done cooling, it leaves this tiny piece that's floating at the top, and you just shake it a little bit, and then it comes down. So weird! Yeah.